Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. Uh, today we're talking about a little bit of a problem we're having in our caravan and that is condensation in the mornings. Hmm. So if you're new here, first of all welcome to the channel. Uh, we have a Jayco Journey Caravan. A 19.61-3, uh, the three bunk model, and this is the first time we've actually been sort of camping a lot in the winter um, and in the rain, cold weather, and what we've started to notice in the morning is condensation. And down the back here in the back cupboard seems to be the sort of main uh, culprit. Um, we've been getting condensation on this back wall. I've kind of pulled everything out of here, but we keep our clothes in here, um, our kids' clothes down in the drawers there. And we've been getting condensation on this back wall in the morning um, and also on the front wall uh, up the front above our bed. So the main spot up the front here we've noticed it is down this wall um, uh, here in the mornings and it doesn't sort of like run down the wall or drip on the bed or anything like that. We just sort of notice like it's sort of um, you know just lots of little bits of condensation on the wall there. Give that a wipe down in the morning it's not too bad. Um, the problem is we've noticed it up in these top cupboards uh, we keep like bedding and stuff up here, some extra clothes, I keep my camera gear in this cupboard and we've noticed it on the um, wall there, kind of in the corner um, and so that's a little bit of a concern because we obviously don't want any condensation in cupboards where we keep clothing, bedding, blankets, that sort of thing. So we've done a bunch of reading on the Jayco uh, forums in Australia and in New Zealand here and it just seems to be a problem that a lot of people have. Um, not so much in Australia where it's slightly warmer but definitely here um, I guess because we have our diesel heater on we normally set it to like 18 19 degrees at night so it's pretty toasty and warm in here but those cupboards I guess kind of act like fridges at night because they're closed um, the outside of the van is you know getting cold there on it same with the back ones and um, they're kind of almost like a mini fridge aren't they really once they're sealed shut so um we tried to leave our cupboard doors open at night which seemed to make a bit of a difference um, obviously then the warm air is getting in the cupboards as well kind of looks a bit funny to have all your cupboards open at night and um, you know it doesn't look as tidy as it could be um, another suggestion I read online was you you should have like your bathroom fan on quite a bit and your window open when you're cooking obviously cooking with gas a lot of condensation so we normally crack the kitchen window um, but we don't turn the bathroom uh, fan on above the shower some people turn that on and then it kind of pulls the air through the van. Um, this caravan does have a quite a nice range hood, but apparently they don't quite move the volume of air and moisture they need to. Um, I'm guessing the bulk of it's coming from it just being so cold outside, like a few degrees outside and like 18, 19, 20 degrees in here. Um, so one solution I've seen a lot of people do is they buy a big roll of felt and they glue felt to the inside of the cupboards. Um, and this kind of stops the moisture forming on there and keeps those cupboards a bit warmer. I'm a bit too lazy to uh, <laughs> to get a whole lot of felt. Chelsea and the kids have been a bit sick this week. I'm a bit blocked up myself. So we went with an easier solution and that is these adhesive carpet tiles which we are going to put into the cupboard and um, see if that makes a bit of a difference. Right, so the tiles we ended up choosing from Mitre 10 are Q Decor carpet tiles. Um, they're 30 by 30 centimeters. They say they're about four mil uh, thick, the pile. And you get 15 in a box so a box was $30 uh, not on special or anything and come in a bunch of colors we got the dark gray ones that come in brown black a whole bunch of different colors a lighter gray um, so we're gonna try the one box it does 1.35 meters squared apparently for the one box so we're gonna see if that does the back cupboard uh, the back cupboard looks to be a probably a meter by 800 Probably meter and a half by 800 so one box should do the back uh, back cupboard in the caravan we're gonna see how that goes um, if they do the trick and we don't get any condensation other tiles are also um, moisture resistant so if we don't get any condensation down there then we'll rip in and do the cupboards up the top now these tiles almost fit in this back cupboard without any adjustment they're slightly too high um, and there's also some little uh, uh, I guess brackets to hold these shelves up that we're gonna cut around so I'm going to enlist Chelsea's help. I know I said she was sick earlier, but she's a lot handier with a craft knife than I am. So we're going to cut some of these out and um, dry fit them and then stick a few in. Okay. 
Okay, the first shelf is all cut out and ready to go. Wasn't too hard actually. These are really easy to cut just with a, a craft knife and a, a ruler. Um, so the annoying thing is these squares are the 30 by 30 centimeters. So for our, the, um, the cupboards in this Jayco, I had to cut these squares down slightly, uh, about that much, came off the top of them. And I had to cut little notches out for those white um, shelf brackets we looked at earlier. Now, two of these side by side does not cover the whole shelf. Um, so what I ended up having to do was making us make a strip just using those off cuts that will sit in between um, the two squares like that. Now, I did think initially I should put the strip on the outside, um, but either side um, down the sides of the cupboard uh, kind of these weird plastic caps. I assume they've got some sort of bolt on the outside or they cover a screw or something electrical um, But what that would mean is that this wouldn't sit flush this little strip if I put it on either side of the cupboard um, and it, it wouldn't completely cover that screw whereas this bigger panel will cover that plastic cap a lot better So the strip will end up in the middle. Uh, it's kind of dark in the cupboard anyway And I don't think you really notice the seam kind of cut a little bit big and I'll squish it in there so um yeah, now I've got to cut the other one, two, three shelves out. Um, these little grooves, so far I've found they're quite uniform. So whoever built this caravan, thanks for putting those in straight. That means I can use these as templates. Um, so yeah, that, I'm, I'm stoked with that. I thought they might be all slightly off center, in which case I'd have to measure each one up, but they look good so far. So I'm gonna to get to cutting the rest out. Um, then I'm gonna dry fit them all, and then we're gonna stick them in. All right, well, the bottom three shelves uh, dry fit them all. They fit nice. I'm pretty pleased with how they're all sitting, so I'm going to go ahead and stick those ones in. Sorry, it's a bit tricky to film down here. I realized it's quite a cramped space and these cupboards are quite dark. So um, I might look in the future at actually putting some sort of touch lights or LED lights in these cupboards. Um, yeah, they're really dark, but it's an another uh, upgrade for another day. Um, once I've done the bottom three shelves, stuck those in, I'm then going to move on to this top shelf. Um, the top shelf is about 100 mil higher, so we'll get two full squares in there without cutting them down. I'll just have to figure out um, the extra sort of strip to go across the top. Um, this top shelf as well doesn't have any of those white plastic caps down the side like we saw down uh, below. So I'll be able to put the um, little strips on either the left or the right side just to kind of hide those seams a bit. So I'll get these bottom shelves in and then we'll crack on with the top ones. Well, this top shelf is proving to be a bit of a pain and I thought it might be, and that's why I left it till last. Um, it's gonna be six different pieces. Um, so two full squares, 30 by 30 centimeters a couple of strips and then a couple of annoying strips up the side. Um, the top shelf in this caravan we normally keep like spare bedding in, um, spare sheets, towels, bath mat, that sort of thing. So it's pretty full all the time like I said earlier. So I'm not too worried. Um, I just have to get them all fitting as close as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and install those now and then I'm going to bed because it's quite late. And um, we're off uh, camping at the moment and uh, it's very cold. Well, not very cold, but still pretty cold at night. Bit of condensation in the morning. So I'll catch up with you guys in a few days and um, we'll give you a bit of a review of how it's all going. Um, if it's working, if those cupboards, um, you know, have any dampness in them. I might also get a couple of those like um, damp rid like moisture things you can hang up in your closet. I might just hang a small one of those in the cupboard just as like a fail safe. And I guess that'd be a good way as, uh, of telling as well if there's any moisture in there, right? Cause those little beads change color. So I might pick up a couple of those in the next few days and install one of those as well. So I'll catch up with you shortly and I'll let you know how it's all going. Next morning. Well, I'm pretty happy to report that those tiles are actually um, have stopped the condensation down there. So I'm pretty stoked actually. That cupboard seems a bit warmer. Um, and we just haven't had the same condensation. Now it could be it's only been a few nights since uh, I installed it, so it could be that we just haven't had one that's cold enough. We have seen a bit of condensation up here still, but I don't really want to go and stick um, carpet tiles to that edge, so we just give that a wipe in the morning. It's not dripping on the bed or anything, so um, we just give that a wipe. Uh, I might look at doing it at the cupboards above me here at some stage as well, um, because a lot of camera gear in here and uh, you know, um, spare bedding clothes and that sort of thing up there so don't really want moisture I don't want moisture anywhere in the caravan really 
Thanks for watching. Um, I know it's a bit of a different video. It's not the usual vlog style, um, you know, adventure of where we're going, but um, I'm going to try and document, I guess, the entire journey, right? The, the caravan, um, you know, products we use in the caravan, issues we have with the caravan, you know, that sort of thing, as well as those adventures. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Um, we can't wait for the summer. So in about five months time, four or five months, um, we're going to go on the road full time which I'm just so pumped about. Um, we're going to go down to the South Island. We're going to stay down there as long as we can in the summer until it gets cold in the winter, too cold for us. And this is our caravan and young kids. And then we're going to head up north, uh, the winterless north as they call it here in New Zealand. Head up to the top, maybe the Coromandel and find some spots up there to stay. So I'm going to bring you tons of videos over that time. Going to try for two a week, um, maybe even more. So yeah uh, like and subscribe if you want to come along for that adventure and yeah thank you as always for supporting the channel see you in the next one